Hello everyone. Today I'll be sharing a video showing the importance of a good sideboard incision. Normally I make two sideboard incision, one for my rexes and second for my second instrument. And normally I prefer 20 gauze uh, MVR blade. But for this surgery my my assistant has given me uh, 19 gauze MVR blade. I filled the uh, viscoelastic from my first side port incision. During the process of uh, my second side port incision, I entered uh, in the cornea fully with this 19 gauze MVR plate. Then I prepared my clear corneal 2.2 mm incision. The nucleus was uh, grade 4 plus, so I removed all the air present in the chamber, filled the chamber tightly with viscoelastic then started my rexis here. I plant big size around 5.5 and more than 5.5 size millimeter of uh, my capsular rexis. Then I performed uh, very gentle um, hydro procedures. Then I started my nucleus fragmentation. Because the nucleus was uh, uh, harder so I made a small trench and then rotated the nucleus and again completed the trench and through the vertical chop I divided my nucleus frag in two parts. During the process of fragmentation you can see that uh, side port incision of my second instrument was leaking profusely. And this is not a good sign for uh, closed chamber safe echo emulsification. So I filled the chamber again with viscoelastic and prepared uh, another um, side port incision. And this time I made uh, a small size uh, side port incision and now you can see the difference. For the safe uh, surgery and for the safe uh, phaco emulsification, not only uh, we need uh, good non-leaking uh, main clear corneal inc incision but we also require non-leaking side port inc incisions so whenever you feel uh, your uh, side port incision is leaking you can uh, stop the surgery and you can hydrate that particular wound and you can create another side port incision and uh, you can see that uh, my second side put uh, through the second side put incision uh, i finished my pico fragmentation safely without any chamber collapse and any complications i think uh, little this little information which i gained through my experiences might be helpful for you uh, for your future surgeries thanks for watching